At the end of this video, you will know how to organize and assemble your footage so you can edit your epic travel vlog fast. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. When you start editing your video and you have a lot of footage, you may feel overwhelmed. Where do you start? When should you put clips in the timeline? What's the best way to organize your footage? These are all great questions and we are gonna answer them in today's video. In our previous video, we talked about setting up your camera properly when filming. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can watch it right up here. Setting up your camera's metadata correctly will save you a lot of time when you start importing your footage into Filmora 9. When it is done right, all the footage will be organized in the media folder in the order it was filmed in. When you start looking for a clip, you can remember when you filmed it and find it in less time. But here's the warning, do not rename your original footage files on your computer midway through your project. Always keep the original name, otherwise it'll confuse the software the next time you load up your project. If you want to rename the footage to help you stay organized, you can rename the files you imported into Filmora 9. In Filmora 9, you could create different folders to hold your footage. This will be a huge time saver later on, so do your future self a favor and start categorizing your content into folders. A few ways you could group your shots are by the date of shoot, camera type, location, or type of footage, like B-roll. In our video, we shot on multiple days, at many locations, and with multiple cameras. Knowing these three categories, we could have sorted our footage into many folders. However, in Filmora 9, we only organize by location. I come to find that being too organized can be counterproductive because it could get tedious navigating through so many subfolders later on. Organizing is a process and a skill, so the more you do it, the faster and better you will become, and it will save you time in the long run. Once you have all your footage organized in Filmora 9, you can start piecing your video together. This is when your video comes to life. Things can feel a bit overwhelming at first, so I'm going to give you some tips on how to start. The first thing we did when we started editing our travel vlog was picking the music. Why? It's so that we could start editing to the beats and the pacing of the song. We wanted music that suited our location. Vancouver has quite the contrast of serene and hustle, so we looked for music that had a wide range of pace. When picking music, avoid copyrighted material because YouTube enforces certain restrictions that may prevent your video from being viewed or getting monetized. Instead, go with royalty-free music. We listened to a bunch of royalty-free songs, but eventually we picked two. One for the energetic and lively portions of the vlog, and the other for the serene and slower moments. Having a range of paces for your video is a great way to keep your audience's attention and creating a dynamic video. Once you've selected your music, add it to the timeline. We suggest adding markers for each beat you want to potentially cut on. That way, as you adjust your footage, you can use that as reference. To add a marker on your music, select it and press the M key. It's also a good idea to keep your music track separate from your dialogue and sound effects track. This is a good habit to stay organized. The same way we'll do with the video tracks, but we'll get to that later. You don't need to have a cut on every beat, just when it feels right. There are no hard rules to how you should edit with music, so feel free to experiment. For example, we use the audio to dictate when we should cut from the Vancouver Lookout to the Richmond Night Market. We wanted to create a soft, tranquil tone as we looked out onto the view of the city. Then, with music, we cut to the hustle and bustle of the Night Market. If the music stayed soft at the Night Market, then it wouldn't match the scene or the tone that we wanted to convey. So we had to play around with the timing of the music. The purpose of assembling your video is to build your story from beginning to end. 
it's not gonna be perfect right away, but you'll start to see your video coming together. To start, drag all the vlogging footage into its own timeline track. The More 9 can have up to 100 tracks, so you have more flexibility in editing. But in order to stay organized, we recommend dedicating specific tracks for specific footage. For example, track 1 can be your vlogging footage, track 2 can be your b-roll, track 3 can be used for text and effects. Place the main footage first and then add b-roll that matches the moment or gives the viewer a more unique perspective. In our video, we use b-roll whenever we were vlogging to help show our point. At Stanley Park, we talked about the totem poles, so we added b-roll of them. At Van Dusen Garden, we used b-roll of the plants. At Capilano Suspension Bridge, we use b-roll of the scenery. We use b-roll to help tell our story, and it also makes the video more interesting. Don't focus too much on the cuts between your main footage and the b-roll at this time. As you start to revise it, you can smooth out the cuts, or even find the best b-roll to support your video. In our previous video, we showed you how to film in-camera transitions. While these transitions are done in camera, how you assemble them on the timeline also matters. This is how you edit our blackout in-camera transition effect. The one where we go from Capilano Suspension Bridge to the beach. First, we bring in the ending of the Capilano Suspension Bridge transition, where the clip ends in black. Then, we bring in the beginning of the beach shot, where it begins on black, and then pulls out to reveal JJ at the beach. As long as the two points where the clips meet have darkness filling the frame, it will work. Play it back and adjust the transitions to make sure it looks seamless. Once you have a rough cut of your video, it is time to watch it. Be gentle with yourself because you are gonna see a lot of imperfections. Remember, all great videos always start with a rough cut. As you watch, you will see areas that you won't need and clips that will need to be trimmed or switched out. You can make notes of the edits you want to do as you review, or jump right in and start making those revisions as many times as you need. Once you feel confident with the way you've arranged your video, it is time for the next and final step, fine tuning. This is where you can refine those edits and add that little extra something to make your video even greater. That tutorial is coming up, so stay tuned. That is everything on organizing and assembling your travel vlog. How do you organize your footage? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.